So after times, I get disturbed by my parents and I feel like keeping a distance from them, um, they bothered me things like about my vegan diet um, because they come from a medical background, both my parents and the medical background and they think it's uh, 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 medically it's not uh, correct diet, right diet for, for me. And um, so they bother me about these small things and I get disturbed about other things from them. And um, I just want to know, if, is it a right decision for me to keep a distance from them? Or should I just, you know, face them, you know, front on and argue, you know, argue with them about, you know, the vegan diet with some facts and figures. <laughs> <laughs> We often start thinking of using stone crushers where a simple wrench would do. You do not require at all to take the extreme measure of distancing yourself from your parents or not talking to them or you know creating some kind of a gap. Uh, not needed at all. It's great that your parents come from a medical background. If there is one field from where the most overwhelming evidence in support of veganism comes, it is the medical field itself. Forget spirituality, Forget compassion, forget ethics, forget climate change, forget biodiversity, forget religion, forget culture. Just listen to medical science. And it is medical science that tells you that veganism is the way. Every passing day, more and more and stronger and stronger evidence is pouring in. Research paper after research paper, journal after journal. In fact, I wonder how your parents, in spite of being from medical background, are still against veganism. Probably they have not kept themselves abreast of the latest developments. They just need to update their knowledge. You do not need any frantic measure. You do not need to jam the emergency brakes on the relationship. You only need to deliver them a potent diet of medical facts. Right? And, and all that is very easily available, even online. And if they won't trust the online information, then probably a meeting can be arranged between a dietitian or a physician who is up to date with the current research and he will tell them how deeply problematic is a diet rich in animal content is especially for aged people i'm sure your parents want to live long and live healthy and if they want to live long and live healthy then veganism is the way hmm? and it's a very very irreligious advice in that sense, it's a very secular matter. You don't even need to bring the scriptures in between. You don't need to talk of how an animal bleeds. You don't need to talk of mercy. You don't need to talk of 
the karma cycle. You just need to talk of the medical facts. And I assure you, science is overwhelmingly in favor of giving up on milk products and animal flesh. Right? Don't, don't, uh, don't uh, quarrel with them on principles. Don't uh, uh, confront them on ethics. Not needed. Everybody is entitled to his opinion, right? Ethics probably can vary from person to person. That's what the ego does. One person thinks that such an act or such a course of action in this circumstance is right. The other one has a different opinion. And let people be entitled to their opinions. But let nobody be entitled to an opinion that contravenes a fact. Once a fact is established in black and white, in numerical terms, in scientific terms, let nobody quarrel with it. Right? And thankfully, the fact that we all do far better health-wise when we are on a vegan diet has been now established scientifically beyond any debate. Hmm? So use that to your benefit. Let that be your ammunition. Hmm? As I said, you don't need a stone crusher. Probably all that you need is a simple wrench.